Hi guys, so today I'm going to show you how to decoupage onto a wooden surface. I'm going to be doing it onto a wooden chest of drawers today that I'm going to use as an organiser, but you could have it on another piece of wooden furniture or a wooden canvas. As long as the wood is untreated, it doesn't have a wax or sealant on the surface, you can decoupage onto it, which makes it easier for the decoupage to hold. So I'm going to show you step by step how to do it now and what materials you'll need. Okay, so you're going to need four to five materials for this. The sandpaper is optional. I didn't actually end up using it in the end, but it's there if you want to create a nice rustic effect for your images that you're going to be transferring, but I didn't use it in the end. So here's the sandpaper. You can get it in most stores. I would use the fine grit sandpaper just so it's easier to use. The Mod Podge here is great because it's actually a sealer glue and finish, so it's a three-in-one, so I recommend using Mod Podge for this. The paintbrush is a wide paintbrush, so that's going to be good when you are sticking and sealing your images. Now I got an assortment of art napkins to use because I wanted to go for a nice arty finish, so it's sort of a collection of lots of different famous pieces of artwork. Okay, so here's my wooden box organiser. So I got it from Amazon relatively cheap and it's just going to be used to um, hold bits and bobs around the house. I'm going to be doing my decoupage onto the surface of the drawers and not on the actual um, sides of the organiser, but I might choose to paint it in the future. But just for now, we're going to be doing the decoupage onto the surface of the drawers themselves. Okay, so I've got one of my napkins that I'm going to use and I've laid it out flat. So this is a three-ply napkin, which means it's got three layers to it. What you want to do is take off the other two layers and just have the surface layer, which has the artwork on, of your napkin. That's because if you... If, um, put it all on then it's just going to be too thick and it's not going to take well and it's going to fall apart so if you've just got that first layer where the artwork is that's what you're looking for to stick down so if you've got a three ply or a two ply that means it's basically two layers or three layers so you want to get the surface of your napkin off first okay so now I've put my napkin onto the surface of one of my drawers I'm just going to lay it out to see where I want to position it so it frames nicely onto the wooden drawer before I start to glue it onto the surface okay so I've got my Mod Podge out and I've just decanted a little bit of glue I'm going to paint it onto the surface so you want to have a nice even amount so not too much so it's going to put up but not too little so it's not going to stick properly so you want to just evenly spread that out across the surface make sure you've not missed out in any areas so that it's going to glue on properly to the surface of the wood Okay, so I've got an even amount of Mod Podge now on the surface of my wood and I'm going to lay the napkin out, trying to get it evenly on and where I framed it before. So you want to lay it out and you're just going to pat down the surface to try and stick it down evenly and to get out as many creases and bubbles as you can. Now, mine has got some creases and bubbles in it, but I'm trying to come up with that sort of rustic feel of um, when you look at the surface of a painting, you can see that it's got that um, sort of textured effect on the surface of the paper. Okay, so now that's glued down and I'm just going to let that dry and do the same with the other drawers as well. So I'm going to do the same with this Van Gogh piece, that's it before. I'm going to be gluing onto the surface again, nice even amount of glue, making sure I'm covering all the area of the surface of wood and then patting it down onto the surface and letting it dry.
Okay, now I've finished gluing all the napkins onto the wood, I'm going to let that dry for 24 hours and I'm going to come back to it next day just so we know it's completely dry and it's not going to get ruined once we start the next process of the decoupage. Okay, so now that they're dry, I'm going to cut around the edges of the artwork to get any excess material away and make sure it's framed properly. I'm gonna leave a small border of material all the way around so when I glue it down, I've got this nice border and it doesn't look uneven. Now I'm gonna do the same with the other drawers cutting around the sides, making sure I get anyway, any excess material and having a small border of tissue paper that I can glue down. Okay, so now I'm going to use the Mod Podge again and use it to seal the artwork. So I'm just applying a thin layer of the Mod Podge in order to seal it so it gets that nice satiny gloss finish and it also protects the artwork. I'm also going around the sides and gluing down that border so that they're all even around the sides. So I'm gluing it down and sealing it at the same time. Okay, so now that all the artwork is sealed, I'm gonna let it dry for a few hours, not 24 hours, just a few hours until it's ready to be put together. And here is the finished piece. I'm really happy with how this turned out. It's nice that the images sort of speak for themselves and there isn't anything distracting from that. That's why I chose to leave the wood unpainted around the edges and not decoupage that. I may in the future possibly paint it white or have a nice white rustic sort of feel. But for now, I'm quite happy with it and the way that it's turned out. Um, the images I think work better not being sandpapered over because they're already quite small, the drawers themselves, and you have to limit what you're going to use out of the painting. So I think that not using the sandpaper was a good call because it would have gotten rid of more detail than, you're, than you've already got rid of. So I'm happy with the way it turned out. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and that you'll try this out yourself at home either on a piece of furniture that you've been wanting to decoupage or possibly on a wooden canvas that you fancy doing. Okay, thank you so much for watching my video guys. If you did enjoy it, please like and subscribe. Each week I'll be bringing out a new video for art that you can try at home and I also have other tutorials on my channel for other art ideas that you might want to try in the future. Thanks for watching.